hey guys welcome back to my channel for another insecure review this is season four episode four low-key thankful i feel like this season has started off really really slow i don't feel like we've had anything to really sit back and be like oh shit like i don't feel like we've gotten there yet so come on isa Come on, it's, it's episode four. I, we only get, what, eight episodes? Come on, where's the climax? I need the climax. Okay, so this episode starts off with Lawrence in the mirror practicing for an interview. And Condola <laughs> with that loud ass alarm, like, I jumped. Like, my anxiety would not be able to take it. And he basically says that can't be normal. And the way she woke up in that bed, like, in a jolt, like, can't be normal so it's like i'm gonna need you to go see a therapist about that um and then they're talking and lawrence tells her like he doesn't feel like you know she does all these great things and he doesn't feel like he's up to par basically and how, why do comment down below why do guys always feel like that like that they are not in the same place as a woman like we don't look for that like we look that you have potential that you are doing what you got to do as a man like please comment down below because i feel like a lot of women have dealt with that and if you're a man comment down below like why do y'all feel like that like i i deal with this all the time so this is two months before the block party so Lauren shows up for, I guess, the promotion interview, but then the receptionist is like, oh, it's been canceled. In my head, I'm like, why y'all didn't call me? Y'all couldn't call me and tell me it was canceled. Now I'm looking crazy. Um, so then he's in the car. So then he's in the car with Chad and they're talking. Chad is like, he ain't sold the house in like a month or two. Chad walk running around in a brand new range. Hood rich. He's just like, oh, I got to put on this appearance. I got to do all this. I said, he must be from Atlanta. Because, baby, all these people out here don't be having, what they say, a pot to piss in and a window to throw it out. But they be sh showing up in their designer. Mm -hmm. So, Lawrence goes into um, a coffee shop. And he spots Issa from the back. Baby, he know what Issa look like. He spots Issa from the back. And he walks up to her. And, you know, they indulge in their awkward conversations. They were joking. He he ha ha. Condola walks up. You know, it's kind of got really awkward when she walked up. Because it's like, um, hey, y'all. Like, y'all he he ha ha. And like, I want to laugh. Jay did. <laughs> um, so, Issa's like, oh, you know, well, I'm just leaving. And then the guy calls, oh, I have a this ready. I have this coffee and meatball for here. And Issa was like, oh, I was actually going to get it to go. Like, she's like, awkward. So awkward. So, Issa gets up, grabs her things, and walks out. But as she's walking out, she looks back, and she sees that Lawrence and Condola are all lovey-dovey. And all on top of each other. So, you, but you know, it, it just kind of, you could tell it's bothering her. Pause. The soundtrack on this show is amazing. Like, as all, like, the soundtrack gives me my entire freaking life. So, let's move on. Y'all, I keep telling y'all, this, this season is such a snooze fest. So, uh, moving on. Um, Issa and molly are out it's thanksgiving so Issa and molly are out getting you know groceries to get down to get ready to cook and they just keep having these awkward moments molly asked Issa if she should invite andrew and Issa's like sis like y'all have only been dating like two months slow it down you don't want to scare him off molly took offense to that so Issa starts to put like some of things back she's like i can't afford it you know the block party is coming up and then it get awkward again and they basically both agree that they've been coming for each other like or that's how they've been feeling like you've been coming for me i've been coming for you and we need to talk about it because things have um gotten really awkward 
and that um over pie they would talk about mending their friendship and trying to figure out what's wrong so then it jumps to um Lawrence at Condola's for the Friendsgiving. And he notices that the sink is still not fixed. And she's basically like, the guy canceled. So then he volunteers to <laughs> to fix it, y'all. He put, y'all, this would be me. Because I use YouTube for everything. But I'm mad at the name of this. So he pulls up this video, Fixing Sinks for Players. And I knew then, like, it wasn't going to go well. So, um, and then it jumps to Issa and her brother. They pull up to, um, they're walking up to their mother's house, and they see an ambulance. And so, they take off running. And then they realize, um, my brother realizes that it's Stanley, and they start running. And they're like, oh, okay. As they pull up, um, Wendy Raquel Robinson, who plays her mom, <laughs> they just like oh i'm gonna go with them basically she's gonna go with them with him to the hospital they want Issa and her brother to stay there and entertain the guests but you said her brother didn't do that they ended up at some mexican restaurant drinking more margaritas and eating chips and salsa y'all rest in peace i cannot wait to go out to a restaurant and they say can i get you a drink can i get you some appetizers like do you want dessert? I cannot wait until that moment. Like, them sitting in that restaurant made me think of this restaurant called Agavera, which is close to my job. And we go, like, that is our spot. And, baby, the mariachi will come. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. The mariachi? I can't roll my R's. But they would come out, like, if it's somebody's birthday, and they would do just like that. Like, I was just, I miss that place, y'all. What's the first place you're going to? After all this is over, yeah, I know Georgia is open, but I ain't open, okay? I'm in my house. Um, then it jumps to Molly and her family. Um, when Molly comes in, her mom is like, girl, where you get all that donk donk from? Like, we don't get booties like that. We got thick ankles. <laughs> and Molly was like, mom, just tell me I, I, I've gotten fatter, like... You know, when you go home, my parents come. They always want to tell you what you look like. What you look like. And so, um, they kind of, they start talking to Andrew. Um, because mom, um, mom is like, so when are you going to start a family? You know, families always want to hit you that. When you going to give me some grandchildren when you pay for them, like. Um, so she shows a picture of Andrew and mom realizes like Andrew is not black. So everybody shook as they're finding out that Andrew is not black. Uh, then we have Kelly on her IG live or IG with her aunties. They being crazy just like her. So Issa, you know, texts Molly and says, you know, everything has been kind of crazy. Um, You know, basically everything about the Thanksgiving Day has been crazy. Molly responds, do you, girl? And when Issa looked at the text and I, when I read it, I was just like, like, Molly, why do you always got to be so negative? Like, Molly is very negative. And Molly gets on my nerves. <laughs> um... I feel like Molly is very passive. Molly is very, very passive aggressive and it pisses me off because she could have did a better text. She could have said, girl, hey, what's wrong? Um, I don't know. Like, I feel like the communication with them two is off and I feel like they need to get it together. But as we see, they're not gonna get it together. So one of Condola's drunk friends goes into the kitchen with Lawrence. And she, you know, when you're drunk, like what they say, a drunk mind speaks a sober truth. She was in there basically telling Lawrence that he's just a casual little thing that Condola is doing right now. And, you know, not really gotten over her divorce, this, that, and the other. So, you know, that hit him like, shit, I'm just living, just a little casual, little, <laughs> little fling. 
So then it jumps back to um, Issa and her brother bonding over the Mexican food. And her brother asked, like, how are you dealing with um, Lawrence moving on? And she, you know, basically says, like, you know, of course it bothers me because he couldn't be the guy that I needed him to be. He couldn't be the man that I needed him to be. Like, she feels like she groomed him for the next chick. <laughs> and baby, I relate. Like, I feel like she fell in love with the potential. And I feel like that's kind of what most women do. Like, you see so much in a guy. And it's something that, like, my aunt and, like, all the other people in my family always say. If you can only see a man for what he is when you get with him and you don't see him becoming better, that's not a man you can be with. So I feel like a lot of us women fall in love with potential. And so it, it can be frustrating. Like, he wasn't the guy. He was the work in progress. And I feel like she's reaping all the benefits of what I did. Like, I sold into that man, and now she's getting the benefits. So I'm like her brother. Baby, I'd probably be a little petty because you can be this great man now, and you couldn't do that when I was with you for five years. So then it jumped like, and it's jumping back from house to house. That's literally this episode. Molly um gets back to Molly's house. Um, Molly is being really weird with her dad because you know her dad and all the infidelity and whatnot. Her da her brother pulls her into the kitchen and is like, Molly, like you need to chill out. Like mom got over it. You need to get over it like he's a man like at the end of the day dad is a man and he worked to make things better so you need to get over it like quit again being extra like quit being extra so she kind of comes to her senses then it jumps back to lawrence and condola and condola basically says like ha 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 like you know you kind of invited yourself like i didn't really invite you <laughs> I'm starting not like to like her. <laughs> like, by what she says, you really think like you just using him, just using him at this moment, like just for you to feel good, just for you to say you got somebody with you. Um, yeah. And he asks like, "Am I just a fuck buddy? Like, are you just using me for the D? Um, Cause that's what your friend told me." And she's like, "What? Like, he 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 hot like." Oh, her drunk self. Like, no. Like, and he basically asked her, is she over her ex? And she's like, it's been, what, a year and a half. You know, they were married. And I'm done with him. But then she flips it and says, but I should be the one asking you the question because you and Issa got all these inside jokes and all this, that, and the other. And he says, you know, like, I broke up with her. And she's like, well, would you have broke up with her if she had not cheated? And she asked him this twice. And then, you know, the soundtrack kind of cuts. And it's kind of like a... He probably would have left Issa if she hadn't cheated. Um, but, you know, men in their pride, you know, women, women will go back, you know, and probably forgive him and try to work through it. But men, like, I don't be with you no more. So, um... Issa drops her brother off at home and then she texts Molly and was just like, can we postpone our conversation? Can we have it another time? Molly is just like, that's fine. Okay, whatever. So then it, <laughs> it cuts to them watching um, Finding Latoya. Y'all, that police officer was like, Finding Toyota. And the lady in the audience, the reporter was like, Sir, this is about finding a black woman. And this goes to show you that, like, they're making it funny, but it's real. Like, they don't care about, people do not care about black lives. So, I think I'm, I'm interested to see how that is going to play out. So, Lawrence is um, scrolling through his Instagram stories, as we do when we, you know, chilling. And he sees, you know, he it's first, it's chad and then it goes to um kelly and then it goes to tiffany and what is that richard i don't know i can't remember and then it goes to Issa and her brother so he actually comments with some laughing faces and then Issa's messaging him back and then y'all know case of the x started playing 
What is it that you want? Dun, 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 dun. What is it that you need? Dun, dun, dun. I don't know the words. But yeah, case of the X by Maya plays and it fades to black. That was the episode. So I'm going to need Insecure to step it up. We only got four more episodes left and I'm still just like... That's how I'm feeling. Like, I want to be hitting my chest. Like, I want my wig to fly off. They ain't did nothing to make my wigs, like, slide to the back. Okay? So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Go ahead and comment down below. I, I want to get to know y'all. Y'all don't comment. Y'all don't talk to me. I want y'all to talk to me. Okay? Love you. Bye.